welcome back and during this class we are going to start a new topic that is uh, applications of again applications of electrostatics in this time we have discussed during the last time we have seen that how to calculate the total flux through a closed surface now there is an important law which is linked with the electrostatics and this law is basically called gauss's law and this law is applied to calculate electric flux through a closed surface so first of all this will be a sequence of this uh, class we will uh, discuss about the gauss's law statement derivation and then finally we will find out what is the total uh, flux through a closed surface gauss's law when statement it is its limitations are that it is applicable only in case of closed surface now the how to calculate the flux in through a closed surface the net electric flux out of a closed surface is equal to 1 over epsilon not epsilon not epsilon not you have to find out you have to draw the figure is for you when you are uh, you have done two to three classes at this point you must know what is the symbol of this deliberately it is left just to know you are able to draw the figure or not times the total charge q enclosed the surface so it is 1 over epsilon not into q so this is the statement of uh, gauss's law and we will find the final formula which we will calculate we will see that this one is exactly the same which was derived derivation consider a sphere of radius r having a positive point charge q at its center we divide the surface area into n number of small pieces having areas del a1 del a2 del a3 up to del a n the intensity of electric field line is same at every point as they are equidistant from the charge so this is the concept the same concept which i have already discussed take a spherical type of object like football like a balloon filled with air you see that the upper surface of the balloon and take the center point at the center of these shapes you will see that they equidistant mean they are at the same distance from the center to the outside they are they are having the same radius of this spherical surface so these all areas are at the same distance from the charge so there will be the same electric field intensity at the surface electric flux through the small elements del a1 is this one if you look at first of all look at the figure on the diagram here it is plus q charge and the electric lines of forces are moving in all direction outward perpendicular to, to the surface and they are moving out out direction so if you look at the electric lines of forces the area of the surface is taken and the both electric lines of forces in area along along the same direction similar is the case for del a2 the area as well as electric lines of forces both are moving in outward outward direction the type of example which i have already shared that was uh, filling of air in balloon if you have drawn a area at the surface of that balloon if this area is also moving in outward direction the air which you are moving inside or uh, blowing inside that is also moving along the same direction so the, both are along the same direction if you see to the other side this area is del a3 and this intensity is del e3 so they are along the same direction so uh, following the same procedure which we have done to calculate the electric flux in case of closed surface we will follow the same steps but there are only few added defined physical quantities at this stage to find the electric flux through a closed surface so let's start with the first step that is del e1 and that is e dot del a1 you are taking only e because these uh, these are uh, these areas are at the same distance from the center of the circle so they are having the same electric field is e1 e2 e3 it's not changing so that's why it is taken as e every time so del phi e1 that is e del a1 cos 0 and this zero shows the angle between the two so here 
the angle is zero, the, the flux through del E1, A1, that will be E A1. Similar is the case when you are calculating del E2, it is E dot del A2, and then you have placed again, then it uh, angle zero, that is E del A2. So this one is the flux through, electric flux through area A2, this one is electric flux through area A1, and similarly, you are following next steps, then if it is, you have to calculate now, I'm giving you time, calculate electric flux del E3. You have few seconds to do it. I hope you have done it. That will be del E, uh, phi E3 will be E del A3 cos zero, that will be equal to E del A3. This will be your answer. So up to E, n phi n e dot del a1 this is nth area and through nth area these are electric lines of forces passing and this will be the electric flux at that time if you put the value of angle again you will be getting e del a1 so this is the electric flux through area a1 this one is through area a2 and already you have calculated through e a3 and then you have done it e del a n so finally, if you are asked to calculate the total electric flux, so this will be your uh, formula. You have to add up the electric flux due to nth number of areas, nth number of patches of area, and that will be del E, total flux that E1, E2, phi E3, and phi E n. And put the values of the flux here, that will be E del A1, E del A2, E del A3, and then E del A n. E is common, you have taken E common, and this is the electric flux through the whole closed surface. You are adding the whole divided area of closed surface up to nth areas. So when you are adding it, you have to see what type of the figure is. You have to use the formula. If it is a sphere, you will use the sphere, sphere formula to calculate the area at the end. So let's see, this one is electric field intensity and electric field intensity you have already calculated during this chapter, that was E is equal to force acting per unit charge, and you have used the formula of calculating electric, electrostatic force. After using that formula, you got a formula to calculate electric intensity that was, uh, that was equal to Q over epsilon naught. You have already done it. I hope you have understood that was a formula to calculate electric electric intensity and the page did, which you have already covered that was page in some of the books uh, where it is explained that was page number nine it was e is equal to kq over r square after uh, calculating the electric uh, intensity kq over r square so we will see here the value of look this one is e surface area total surface area you have added the surface area due to nth if you, it is del AI, then it, you will you can use a, a limit that is I is equal to 1 to N. E is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. This was the figure with uh, shape which I have already left there and I asked you to write down. This was E epsilon naught Q over R square. And this is basically formula for electric intensity. And the surface area of the sphere formula is this one. And again, it is formula of the sphere is 4 pi R square. Good. Now, here it will be pi r square, pi. Now, the above equation can be written as del E is equal to, this is the value of electric intensity E, this is the value of area, area of a square, 4 pi r square, this 4 pi will get cancelled with this 4 pi, and then you will be getting 1 over q, q, epsilon naught q, and this is basically uh, phi E is equal to 1 over epsilon naught q, this is the final statement of Coulomb's law. Again, I'm moving back this one up to this point. We have already discussed to calculate the electric flux through the whole closed surface. That was phi is equal to phi 1, phi 2, phi 3, phi and up to phi and then you have placed the value E, e del A1, E del A2, E del A3, E del A4 and finally you, take, you have taken E common from the, the whole uh, uh, added area added electric flux e was common then you got del a 
that is the surface area and surface area of a forward shape that is sphere and to calculate the area of sphere that is 1 over 4 pi epsilon sorry that is 4 pi r square and if you look at e this is electric field intensity we have already calculated during our earlier classes few a couple of classes that is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught that is q over r square this is a formula to calculate electric intensity e and this is the formula to calculate area of a sphere so you if you put the values here all quantities are cancelled and finally you are getting qe phi e is equal to 1 over epsilon naught q this is the statement of uh, coulomb's law uh, statement was electric flux through a closed surface is equal to 1 over epsilon naught times the charge enclosed uh, over the surface so this was the concept of the statement of gauss's law what's the conclusion the above equation shows that the electric flux does not depend upon shape or geometry of a closed shape but it depends upon the charge enclosed by the surface and the nature of the medium charge enclosed this is the factor on which the electric flux of a closed surface depends another is that medium in which you have enclosed the charge so these are the two factors on which the electric flux through a closed surface depends so how you have calculated we have already discussed once again you have calculated the flux through a, the area one this is the shape uh, shape figure to understand both have the same direction you will calculate phi one then you will calculate phi two then you will calculate phi three at the end you will add up the electric flux up to the area a n so when you add up you are getting this one phi one phi e to phi n then you have placed the values and after putting the values you have taken common e that is electric intensity and this is the area of a closed surface that is a sphere it will be pi r square and its value is e is equal to four one over r k q over r square and the value of k is one over four pi epsilon naught so you have replaced this value of e and that was e is equal to k q over r square that is one over four pi epsilon naught this one look at this one one over four pi epsilon naught q over r square this is the value of electric field intensity and this is the area of a square put the values here you are getting one over epsilon naught into q this is the final formula for coulomb's law and you have calculated the flux through a closed surface after dividing it up up to nth number of uh, small patches of area. What's the conclusion? Above equation shows that electric flux does not depend upon the shape or the geometry of a closed surface, but it depends upon the charge enclosed by the surface and the nature of the medium. With this, our class ends and hope you people have understood it. Today, we have completed Gauss's law. During our next class, we will discuss about the applic applications of Gauss's law. There are a few important applications of Gauss's law and we will discuss in detail.